we have Professor Rida Kaimil, Professor of Rhinology in Cairo University in Egypt. So welcome, Professor Rida. Hi. Uh, Professor Rida, can you tell us, tell us more about uh, Rhino Egypt? Uh, in fact, uh, we are uh, very happy to celebrate this year uh, the 24th uh, anniversary of Rhino Egypt but at the same time to celebrate the ninth uh, anniversary as well of the PARS. Uh, Rhino Egypt is the uh, annual conference of the Egyptian Rhinology uh, Society and we are very happy to say that during the and throughout the last 23 years, we could achieve the continuous medical education throughout all Egypt. All uh, Egyptian ear, nose, and throat physicians are now uh, uh, capable enough and uh, competent enough to handle gracefully, smartly, easily, and according to the state of the art, most of the uh, rhinology. Uh, problems and most of the rhinology diseases uh, with the endoscopic techniques, with the radiological techniques, and to offer their patients the state of the art in handling their problems. And at the same time, uh, the PARS took care of all the Arab countries, including Northern African countries, Sudan, uh, GCC countries, as well as Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq, and Syria as well. We are in Yemen. We are lucky because, you see, together we uh, made a, a lot of achievements together, not only nationally in Egypt, but also regionally throughout all the Arab world. And in fact, the ERS, Egyptian Rhinology Society, and the parts, the Pan-Arab Rhinology Society, are parts of the International Rhinology Society, as well as the International Symposium of Infection and Allergy of the Nose. So are not working only nationally, but also regionally, and as well uh, internationally. We have been doing this work throughout the last 30 years. And the, the beginning of our work was at the beginning of 1995 for the ERS and 2009 for the uh, PARS. And we are very happy to say that most of the common and everyday uh, rhinology and sinus diseases are handled with care by every Arab and every ear, nose and throat Egyptian uh, doctor, including the chronic sinusitis, including the recurrent polyposis, including the fungal rhinosinusitis. And we are happy to say that throughout the last three decades, we began with the simple cases like this, and we began to take care of more advanced cases, including the benign cyanide tumors, malignant cyanide tumors, including as well the CSF leak perforation in the skull base, including orbital decompression, the DCR, optic nerve decompression as well, how to handle invert papilloma, a juvenile angiofibroma difficult to, to take care of, but at the same time, even to take care of the carcinoma, adenocarcinoma, and other malignant tumors. The recent achievement, uh, in fact, included how to take care of intraorbital problems with, hand in hand with the ophthalmology colleagues to, to go to the orbital apex and take care of any pathology up there. At the same time, to take care of the uh, skull-based tumors, including meningioma, including chordoma, craniopharyngioma, and definitely the pituitary tumors throughout the transnasal endoscopic and not transcranial. So now we handle most of all, and I don't want to say no, uh, all, but most of the uh, sinonasal and most of the ophthalmological nearby and most of the skull-based procedures, uh, transnasal uh, endoscopic. What's good of this uh, procedure is that it is a one-day case and it's very, very, very big achievement. Why? Because the patient uh, comes early morning, operation done, at the end of the day, patient leaves the hospital or second day. The big achievements added to our uh, specialty, added to the endoscopy, the CT, the shaver. The shaver is a very good tool to take care of most of the uh, polyps and most of the benign tumors, to shave them and take care of them. And according to carriage, the route, so that the incidence of recurrence is minimal. But at the same time, the navigation system. Navigation system is very important in difficult cases, especially in tumors 
and skull based tumors and in teaching as well. So the navigation, definitely, I don't want to say it directs you, but it helps you achieve not only effective surgery, but also safe uh, surgery. We are very happy that today, most of the Egyptian, most of the Arab doctors can offer their patient very good care of most of the sinonasal diseases safely and uh, effectively. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Professor. Thank you.